Well, it's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Hey, baby, I think I want to marry you. Is it that look in your eyes or is it that dancing juice? Who cares, baby? I think I want to marry you. Well, I know this little chapel on the boulevard where we can go. Oh, oh. No one will know. Oh, oh. Uh, come on, boy. Who cares if we're trashed with a pocket full of cash we can blow? Oh, oh. Shots of Patron. And it's on, boy. So don't say no, 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 no. I just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we will go, 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 go. If you're ready, like I'm ready, cause it's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Hey baby, I think I wanna marry you. Is it that look in your eyes or is it that dancing juice? Who cares, baby? I think I want to marry you. Oh, he'll go get a ring, let the choir bell sing like oh, oh, oh. So what you want to know, oh, do. <laughs> I just run, just run, boy. He's messing me up because he walked in. Don't say no, 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 no. Just say yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll go, 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 go. If you're ready, like I'm ready. Cause it's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do on November 13th. Hey baby, I know I'm gonna marry you. Say hi Marcus, say hi to the besties. Oh, he's really dirty. He walked in while I'm singing that song. Mess me all up. My besties. He's gardening. We're planting some plants out in our side yard. I'll show you guys at some point. Uh, <clears throat> we have like no plants in the entire yard, but there's just like one little plant and it looks really stupid. So we went and got some succulents that are drought resistant because I do not. These aren't green. Never going to be. Like never. Anyway, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Hi, besties. How are you today? Guess what? It is, what do we call it? Surprise Sunday? No, Sunday. Sensational Sunday. Oh, I had it. It's your Sunday special. That's it. I don't do them very often. This is your Sunday special. It's not even a video that I have listed as one of the ones that I sometimes do, but occasionally you do get a Sunday special and today is one. All right, I'm not even gonna talk to the people who've never been here before because this video is gonna be so confusing and it's super short. Anyway, this video really is for my besties, but if you are new here, new here stick around. It's still a whole bunch of fun. Go back and look at some other videos so you'll kind of get what I do, but this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree, and why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people, a dollar. And unless you happen to walk into a dollar plus and then it's more like one to five dollars. But that's another story. Look at my haul yesterday, you'll understand that. So I sang that song because of course I'm getting married in 20 days. Can I show you guys though? Don't look, I'm all sloppy because I'm gonna go work as soon as I'm done with this. So he always changes the date. Look, there's a heart. So I'm in the kitchen and I, I said, oh baby, I like your... I, I like your heart today. And his answer was, I like your heart every day. Like, you're so cute. Yeah, I think he's getting more romantic the closer we get to the wedding. I don't know why. Maybe he's scared I'm going to run. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, um, so, yeah, 20 days left. So we are busy, busy, busy. And so that's why you're getting a Sunday special because I had to go yesterday to the Dollar Tree. Car's back, by the way. I got my car back finally. And I went to my post office box, but I couldn't get was there because it was closed and I have to go when they're open so they can get it for me because it's behind the counter, Marlene, just FYI. So I'm pretty sure it's there, Marlene. Anyway, um, so I went to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff that we needed for the wedding. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm going to do a quick, short little haul because I did happen to find, imagine that, a few other things. So before I show you those, let's not forget monthly challenge. You have one week to get me the pictures. Remember, it was candy corn. So get me your candy corn in. So I can put that video together for the following week. And then I already know what our challenge is for next month. So I don't need any ideas on that. Also, Bargain Mama, you know, Amy, part of the Triple A's, the amazing Amy's of Arizona. Um, she is two away from a thousand. 
Maybe not by the time you watch this video, but if she is, you guys, please, I'm going to link her channel down below. Go over there. I'm going to link her latest video. Go over there and please subscribe. She needs two people. She's going to hit that thousand. We're super excited for her. So yay, Amy, but I really want to help her. And you know, she's like my favorite. She's like my favorite channel. Like she's like my other favorite channel. I feel like Amy and I have grown together. Okay. Then I have one more thing to ask you. So I had somebody offer me some, um, some, um, what do you call it? Constructive criticism yesterday. And they were like, they suggested that I don't sing the whole song. So I was like, okay, I don't normally sing the whole song. Anyway, but it was a man, not really my audience. So, <laughs> Well, it's not. But anyway, so I thought I'd throw this out to you guys. I want you guys to understand something. For instance, when I do karaoke with Marcus, then if I'm playing the music, we usually do sing the whole song. Um, sometimes I'll sing the whole song, if, if it's especially if it's one that's maybe been requested by you guys. But that song I just sang wasn't requested, so I didn't sing the whole song. Um, but... Tell me what you guys think, because um, I don't really know. And some songs, like the part that I want to get to isn't until the end, so I'll cut out middle verses and whatnot. Anyway, I'm not looking for anybody to yell at me or to tell me, you know, anything awful. I'm really just looking, to, I want to know, I want to hear from you guys what your preference is. Because I would always say, too, to somebody, well, you don't want to hear the song, just skip it. Like, just fast forward past the song. So there's always that option. But anyway, just a little bit of feedback on that. I'm not going to stop singing, so please don't put that one out there because that is my niche and it works. The lady that, the, I mean, anyway, it works because they'll be like, yeah, you're the one that sings. Yeah. Otherwise, what would I be? Oh, you're the one that does Dollar Tree crafts. Well, which one? The one with glasses? No, which one though? <laughs> like, So see, that thing that makes me different, it makes me different. And that that's how, they, that's how they'll be like, oh, the one that sings. All right. Let's move on. I want to tell you guys, I want to give you a food review really quickly because this morning we made steak for breakfast. Okay, only because we're trying to empty out the freezer so we can put the food in it that we're buying for the wedding. So we, we got to eat steak. Um, and so I decided to try this. So I just hauled this, I think, two weeks ago, right, guys? Um, yeah, I think it was two weeks ago. So I opened it up this morning and tried it. This is an eight-ounce thing of, of seasoning. Let's see a normal. Don't look at me. I'm all dressed to go work in the yard. A normal like size of seasoning is like, you know, 2.76. Okay, so it's much smaller. This one was a dollar there at the Dollar Tree also. So th these are out and for a dollar, this is huge. So I did try this one. It's really good, you guys. I think I liked it. Somebody asked me about my spice racks, by the way. These I bought online and they go on your door. They're absolutely amazing. I love them. But because I downsize, I have to get really creative in my storage. So I wanted to let you guys know that that seasoning was good. I'm also going to try the barbecue, I think, later today. So on Tuesday, maybe I'll tell you about that one. And then also, this is a shirt that I made last Halloween when I first started doing videos. That video is awful. But the shirt, just so you know, this is one of those reverse canvases. This was a Dollar Tree t-shirt. So I took the word beware, which is in their metal words for Halloween. And this is their skull, um, you know, the little yard gate things that they have there. So I laid those and bleached it. So it works really well. Anyway, FYI. All right, so yesterday I go to the Dollar Tree because I have a list. Did I forget anything? I think I've done everything, right? Monthly challenge, yeah, two day, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So now let's move along. If you're still here, <laughs> if you, and I have a running nose this morning. I don't know why. Is it nerves, you guys? Marcus says he has like a sore throat started last night. And I'm like, okay, listen, you got three weeks to get sick and get well. <laughs> like. No, we're not doing this. Oh, and he started building the pirate ship, which I will put a video together when that's all done, like of the different stages. Okay, in, the, in our backyard. So I go to the Dollar Tree. I had a list of things that I had to get. And um, so I had went and picked up my car. So I was over in a different part of town. And I'm like, great, I'm going to go to a Dollar Tree I haven't been to in a while, which is usually what I'll do. I'll even go, I think I went three miles out of my way to go to this Dollar Tree as opposed to ones that maybe I will hit more frequently. Like the ones that are on the way home from work. Obviously, I hit those more frequently. So I definitely went to one I haven't been to in probably months. And lo and behold, they literally had everything I needed. I was like, mm, this is amazing. I'm so happy I went there. So I'm just going to go over them and show you guys. All right. Obviously, a pirate wedding. So we needed cocktail napkins. So I picked up the black because I have the, the gold speckled silverware. Well, this is with the beverages anyway, but they're the gold speckled cups. You'll see all this on the day of the wedding. Um, and so black and gold are sort of really, and maybe a little bit of silver are sort of really the colors that we're using. So I just picked up the plain black. Um, and then who, 
Oh gosh, don't get mad at me. Who sent me the Ahoy Mani napkins? Those are going on the cake table, FYI. Hmm, okay, I can't remember writing this down. Don, was that you? Okay, anyway, or was it Cracker Jackie? Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. It was Don, I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, it's Cracker Jackie, it doesn't matter. Those are going on the cake table. But these are, so I went and got beverage mac napkins. I know, boring, but hey, I would just thought I would share all this with you guys. Then I needed cake forks. So the silverware that I got for, for the meal is the same, it's that, it was the clear that had the gold flakes in it, because I thought pirate gold, that'd be good. Um, and so I have the silverware sets, you know, knife, fork, spoon. But then you have to do the cake table, and you need, you know, forks for the cake. So I went with these, because it's just clean lines, it's the black with the silver, and I thought this is perfect for the cake. So I picked up, they had enough of everything. But then as I'm walking by, I saw these, which are their little like hors d'oeuvre forks. So I ended up purchasing a bunch of these too, um, because we're literally going to have like um, all these like olives and it's very Greek is sort of where we're going and fruit and whatnot. And so like a little hors d'oeuvre fork so they can, don't have to finger food their olives. That just sounds wrong, doesn't it? Anyway, so I picked up some of these as well. I threw these in my cart. I'm saying picked up. I can't believe it. I picked up Marcus once. That worked out. <laughs> and Effingham, do you guys like his new look? I just looked up and I was like, oh, yeah. Arg. Oh, hi there, matey. And Effingham is really getting into the spirit of this wedding. Yes, and I very much appreciate that. Yes, I do, Effingham. Which we'll talk about Effingham in a minute because I picked up something for him randomly. All right, and then I needed um, a cake, knife, and server. Okay, so I didn't get a cake, knife, and server per se. I don't really care. I'm not going to hang on to it. It's not going in my china cabinet to sit there and rot for years. I just need to be able to serve the cake. So I did just get their their basic. Now, I'm probably going to put keep this in here and just add a little bit of ribbon or something to it. Maybe. I'm not even sure I'm going to do that. I'm probably not. Yeah, I will. So... So I got the cake. It's not a cake knife and server though. It's like a spatula and the triangle, cake, which is fine. That's actually works way better than a cake knife and server. Although I was a caterer for years. I can slam out a wedding cake faster than anybody. And there is a definite process to cutting a round wedding cake. Maybe someday I'll have a lesson on that. So that was on the list. So I did get that. And then um, I did, I just grabbed a couple of their slot, uh, serving spoons and whatnot. Just really is like backup because I think I have plenty. But I was like, oh, just in case. I'd be mad at myself if I was short, right? And then um, I showed you guys on, was that yesterday's video? The Captain Morgan bottle with the, with the, these things in it. Oh my gosh. The green ones were still glowing at 10 o'clock last night. So that was an over, that was a 24 hour period. Um, so inside of these, you get two green and orange and a purple. So what we're going to do is we'll have, Green, orange, green, purple, green, orange, green, purple. Does that make sense? And we're going to line the whole, this was Marx's idea and it's brilliant, line our block wall all around our yard. It'll look really cool and really inexpensive. The Captain Morgan bottles were free. And these, I can do two bottles with one. So I spent $40 on, I bought 40 of these. I think we have 80 Captain Morgan bottles. I think so, yeah. So I spent $40 on these and... They had 40 of them, and I had to go get them yesterday because these are Halloween, right? So I'm like, I'm gonna get them before they run out because this week, it's one of that stuff's all gonna go. So that was another wedding need. Also needed um, some batteries because I have a lot of light things that I'm putting up from the Dollar Tree, and so they were AAA. Like I have a couple of um, lanterns and, and some string lights, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I needed AAA. So they had five packages of the um, AAA Energizer Max, which I would have only bought these if they had had enough. They didn't, so I bought the five that they had. Then they had the Panasonic, um, and I think I bought five or so of these. And then I did just pick up, I think, five of these, just almost for, like, backup. Um, so, but you guys do know what a great buy these are, two for a dollar, right? So we went into, we were in Home Depot buying the washer and dryer, no, buying the plants, our washer and dryer comes next week, buying the plants for the backyard. And um, on the list was batteries. So he picked up a thing and it was, it was like, what was it? 16 batteries for, 
12 bucks or something like that. And I'm like, no, at the Dollar Tree, I can get two for a dollar minimum. I mean, obviously this package I could get four. So, and these are the Energizer. Anyway, so I got the batteries that I also needed. But I also needed um, pillar candles. I had before, when we thought we were getting married last year, I so I started collecting the pirate stuff, like literally, what, two years ago now or a year and a half ago, whatever it was. And I walked into a Safeway of all places, but you know, they have like a floral area and they had these like glass candle pillar holders. They look like mercury glass almost. Super cheap. I want to say they were like $2 each. I bought them all. I'm like, yes, I need those for the wedding. And at that point, I was thinking we would maybe do an inside wedding. So I have quite a few and I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. But I have, was it 40 or 20? No, I can't. it was 40, 40. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, 30, whatever it was. So I needed pillar candles for those. Oh no, I only have 20 of those, but I have 20 other pillars. So I have some candelabras and whatnot for the food table. All right, doesn't matter. So I did really quickly look online, like on Amazon, could I get the candles for cheaper? No. So I ended up getting them right there at the Dollar Tree. I didn't need super huge ones because this is just for one night, right? So I don't need, you know, I'm not gonna burn this continuously. It's gonna, they're gonna burn one night and then I'll use them somewhere else. Maybe I'll make candles with the leftover wax like lots of people do with the ceramic stuff at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is their fresh linen scented candle. Um, and at first I was just picking up the white and then they didn't have, for some reason they didn't have these together but they had their other pillar candles. So I ended up picking up like a, uh, just a Mod Podge of different ones. So the, the fresh linen, these have absolutely no scent, but I like the design. It's a honeycomb design, right? So it'll be a warmer candle on top of a candelabra. This one also, no scent. This Oh no, this is vanilla. Oh, there you go. It's vanilla, but I like the design on it. Had I Could I have gotten 40 of these? I actually would have, but I couldn't. They didn't have enough. Also would have gotten, I would have gotten 20 of these and 20 of these if I could have, but they didn't have enough. But I love these because they have the silver on the bottom and then the red ones had the gold on the bottom. So it's a mix of all those different types of pillar candles. And um, it's fine because this is a wedding, I mean a pirate wedding. So there's no absolute design except that it's very catch-all, old, worldish, you know, kind of like that. Anyway, all right. Then in their Halloween candy, or what? No, I think it's their Christmas candy. I found these. So the chocolate coins. I did, I think I picked up about 15 to 20 of these because on the cake table, um, we'll have the cake, which by the way, I brought this out to show you guys because I'm trying to show you something for the wedding. Like every time I do a video, um, this is our cake topper. I ordered it online. Like how cute is that? Mm, yeah. So that's our cake topper. So this is going on top of the cake. Our friend, um, Michelle is making our cake, and I am going to throw gold coins all around the base of the cake. It'll look it'll look very pretty on the cake table. So threw those in. All right, and that was all that I needed for the wedding. But I was at a Dollar Tree. Did you guys expect me just to walk out? Be serious? No. So I had to walk the store really quickly. I mean, just really quickly. Anyway. All right, so I gotta tell you this funny story. Effingham, don't look, because I kinda wanna surprise you with these someday. <laughs> when I went shopping with Nancy and Bargain Mom at Wendy Amy the other day, we saw these, and they had like purple and silver and orange and maybe, I don't know what other colors. And, I'm, I, and Nancy goes, you need them for your skulls? And I'm like, nope, skulls are done. I'm not buying any more stuff for them. But then I came home and like somebody, dang it, don't have my notebook again. Somebody said I need to put eyelashes on Effingham and a, so I saw him again. I go, yep, grabbing him. I need those for Effingham. Aren't those the coolest? Don't you think he's he, she, Effingham? I don't know. Do you like, oh, you like them? No. He just told me to rip off that pirate costume and put these on. No. How about we make you a little special for the holidays? Like this will be your little holiday eye look. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are really cool. They're diamond cosmetics. Um, distributed by Dime, so they're not Greenbrier. I don't know how long they'll be there. It says Girl Boss Eyelash Kit. Can you even imagine going in as a boss wearing these? It better be Halloween. What? Mm. 
Well, I don't know. Wait, actually, there are some bosses that get out on the street, girl. <laughs> Those kind of bosses. Like Dolly Parton in Cutest Little Whorehouse in Texas. That kind of boss could wear these, but that's the only kind of boss. All right. And then um, they, I found one of their little skirt. It's just a little, like, dress-up skirt. But I found the cutest shirt. I don't think I've hauled it yet because... Or have... I don't know. Anyway, because there, I have more than one haul from our shopping the other day. But it's a long sleeve um, shirt, and it's kind of like a tealish color. Nancy said this. I was like, oh, I want to get this for my DT threads. And she's like, just put one of those tutus on the bottom of it. It'll be a cute little dress. And I'm like, of course. I even did that when my girls were little. So um, this was snagged just for that. I think it's going to look really cute. So it'll be a T-shirt with it, with this sewn on to it to make a little girl's dress. All right. You know I have to stop and look in the books, and I've never seen this one, and I was super excited and I don't know the price because I didn't take the tag off it. But this is, oh, this is so cute. I don't even know who I'm going to give it to. Um, I, I mean, maybe my granddaughter or I might just save it. She might be getting too old for some of my crafty stuff. You know what I mean? Like they just get to a certain age and they're really not that interested in it anymore. Although she paints. She has like a little art area set up. Okay. Anyway, in the USA, this was $14.95. This is... Um, loopy loom rubber band animals so just like two years ago the little remember the rubber bands and they were making bracelets out of them and whatnot so this is how to make animals out of them like how cute is that so anyway i was like for a dollar i can buy it. they have they make little loopy things that you buy i'd have to buy that to go with this gift which is fine i'll find it they'll probably have it at the dollar tree at some point and um, so it's just got all these patterns to, to, to show how to make all these cute little animals. Like, look at the back. Like, how cute are those? Is that a unicorn? I'm not sure. I mean, look at the owl. Anyway, for a dollar. I was like, I love the octopus, though, on the front here. Oh, it's an elephant, too. There's an elephant. Okay, look at my nails are so bad I lost one. I'm Because I'm doing all this stuff for the wedding, and I'm not going to get them done again until right before the wedding, because why? It's, yeah, I don't have time to do it twice before then. Um, and then I found this, which there were other ones. It, um, there were other signs. I only picked up the one because I love this one. Um, what is it? Hap Happy New Home Sweet Home. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. First of all, it would make a great gift to give somebody that's moving into a new house, especially out here in Arizona because there's a cactus in it. They had another one. They had another one that said Home Sweet Home, and it was pretty had floral, there was one that was, you shot you, cute little fox, there was, it was, anyway. So these are brand new out, but here's the thing, you guys, these are larger than their normal, what I call box top signs, because it's like you could go on top of a box. These are normal, these are larger than those. I don't, I don't even have a tape measure with me, do I? But this is that pen that I got from them that has like so many things on it. Okay, but let's just see. So, it's probably, that is not right. There we go, that side. I'm gonna say it's like seven by seven. So it is larger than the other ones. I really like this. I do think it's very cute. I wouldn't even do anything to this, you guys. Being totally serious. I think it needs absolutely nothing. I think it's super cute the way it is. Oh, and um, I did find some more of the peelable primer. So I've tried this. I used it on when I did I don't know, I primered something and then I did the skulls, but it seemed to get clogged up. But I'm giving it another try in case it was the bottle, the particular can that I had. Could have been, who knows? So we'll see about that. Remember I hauled those and I was like, why didn't I get four? Because they fit into that thing perfectly so I could do my farm fresh little um, stand thing. So I found them. So I did throw one more of those in my cart so that I had all the supplies to make that one. Okay, I've been looking for these and it took me, but I, they were at this Dollar Tree when I went in. And these are the over-the-door hooks. If you've been watching my channel, you saw when Marcus put these on the back of my bedroom door. I will, if I remember, I'll insert that in right now. If I put a break in, I'll remember. Let me show you the door again. This is what we did to the door. So there's the over-the-door hangers. And then he just put um, like four of them on here. So he just, so you can see right there, he just screwed them on. And then it's my flip-flops. Oh, look at those awful flip-flops. And... Then shower rings, which I just put through the pair of flip-flops and hang them up there. And this works amazing. So this is kind of the same idea I'm going to do. 
with my um, hair products. Can you hear me singing in the background? I'm playing the video. It's uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So there, there you go. That's that's what we did with flip flops. Okay. So see how cool that is. <clears throat> it works amazing, by the way. So then I started thinking, like, because we've downsized to such a smaller house, I'm getting really creative with my storage. So we have like a water closet, right, where you you walk in and it's just the toilet in this room with a door, <laughs> and there's all this wasted space in there. So if you're sitting on the toilet on the throne, and then right in front of you there's this wall and then and then the door closes. So I have a corner cabinet in there which actually works fairly well. There wasn't enough depth to put a cabinet back there because the door wouldn't have been able to open if that makes any sense. But what I can do is put these on the wall to organize all of my hair products. I cuz I think I have like 15 different you know like blow dryers, curling irons, flatteners, curly anyway. Um, and under the sink, they just become a wadded up mess, right? So I really wanted to figure out some way. So I will, when we get that done, I will show that to you. I think it's going to work brilliantly. And um, what he does is he just he just bends these out and then attaches them to the wall, drills through here, and anchors it to um, um, a stud. He's my stud. Anyway. Okay. And then, <clears throat> of course... I had to walk through Christmas because I'm still looking for those stinking little, what are they? The um, ice skates, which I can't find. So I had to look, but then I saw this and I've never seen this one before. I think it's very beautiful. It screams Cinderella vibes. So I happen to have, I've purchased, I wonder if I have any left. I think I do. I just got lipstick on my hand. Um, like a Cinderella, but just, just so you know, so they sell those little Cinderella figurines and this would make a great ornament for a little girl. Just take the little Cinderella figurine and you could glue it on top of this snowflake here. So you'd have Cinderella standing on top of a snowflake and, and give her a hook and it would be a super pretty little Disney, um, ornament for $2, which we know they're more than that. Or you could just put um, Cinderella in front of this, or you could just use it for something else. I don't know. But I just thought it was really pretty, and I had not seen it before. S grab that just to show you guys. I'll use it in something, I'm sure. And then I saw this guy. So he's got beans or something in him. He's like a doorstop, but not near heavy enough to be a doorstop. There was a snowman, too. I didn't like the snowman. I just like Santa. Okay, so... I'm obviously gonna upscale Santa here. He's cute, but I'm gonna upscale him. The easiest thing that to do is to put like a little sign on him here that says Merry Christmas or welcome or whatever. So there's lots of options by adding something to Santa here or a small wreath also, um, so many things. And I just feel like he could use, I don't know, a little bit more. But I'm also gonna tell you that this is a fantastic base for a gnome. I didn't pick it up to do that because I'm not going to make a ton of gnomes. But if you are a gnome person, to grab this, first of all, you you have your gnome nose there. All you have to do is take off Santa's beard, add your gnome hair, and maybe give a slightly larger hat. And you've got a wonderful Christmas gnome. Pretty easy because the body's done for you and you can leave these arms in. Just as an FYI for you gnome people. Maybe I will do that. I don't know. For right now, I'm just going to upscale Santa. Then I came across these in the as I was walking down the last aisle, which is the kitchen aisle. That's always the last aisle I go through. And these are fabric placemat holders. But I'm just in love with that design right there. It's very simple. It's very classic. And it would be so easy to do some upscaling to it. Also, if you were a person that wanted to make some like homemade stockings, this is a great base for doing that because you get it's already lined on the back. So you would have the front of the stocking and the back of a stocking, okay? I'm not going to do that, but it would be super easy to do. This is also a great base for making a gnome because you can just um, cinch it for a much bigger gnome, obviously, and you could weight this down and put a hat on. I'm not doing that either. I just got them for pillows because I just love the pattern. So I will be making Christmas pillows out of them. And of course, it's the easiest thing in the world because all you do is undo the stitch on one side, stuff your stuffing in or your pillow in or whatever, and then seal it back up. And then you can decorate it however you want. There's that right? So the final thing I'm going to show you that I found yesterday, and I only got one because I'm like, I need no more storage containers, but I'm in love with this color. I don't have the color really anywhere in my house, so I can't really use it for, you know, something specific in a specific room, but I had to show you. 
This is the prettiest color I've seen them come up with. It's like a periwinkle. Well, it is periwinkle, but it's a really dark periwinkle. This is that crayon color that everybody uses first. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? In the box of crayons and the periwinkle, we'd all use that. Like, I, well, I did. Maybe it's just me. I always assume it's all of us. Maybe it's just me. So I'm in love with this color. So this is that basket style that they've had now. We've seen it in peach and teal and and what other colors? And I think like um, like uh, white or an off-white. Anyway, quite a few colors. But this is the newest one. So I'm assuming that this is their fallish color. One of their fall. Oh, they also have added in like an, an umber, like a burnt orange too. Um, but I love this. Do you guys love this color? Anyway. So that's it. So I got a bunch of stuff for the wedding and a few little things that I had to show you. I'm just, I love, I love, love, love this sign. So look for these because that's much larger. And this color on this, I think is incredible. I wish I could think of something to use it for. I can't right now. I might, who knows? So I was happy to show you those new things. And I will show you um, when I'm done with the wall in my bathroom with all of my hair products hanging on it, I will show you that. Probably, I don't know if that'll happen before the wedding. It may not, but okay, guys, that's it. So I don't have anything else to insert here. So I think that's going to be the end of the video today. I'm going to go check on Marcus's progress it's outside building that pirate ship. All right, guys. So there was your, it's, it's your Sunday special and it's not a football game. All right. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, if I'm your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree Effingham, say goodbye, besties. Mm -hmm. I hope it's good enough. We'll see you guys back here for Totally Easy Tuesday.